Yeah, so Shot Track is a really interesting um, bit of technology. Um, so it utilizes uh, sort of RF tracking, which has been around now uh, for quite a while um, in um, some of the sports technologies companies, but it's got a little different feel and very basketball specific feel to it. The stadium is currently set up with a quite a lot of nodes, which are the fixed units hanging from the roof. So the athletes just come and put a tag on and grab one of the special Shot Tracker balls. Um, there's sensors both in the tag which rests on their shoe and in the ball um, and the infrastructure in the roof of the stadium is able to track the athletes and their location on court and figure out when they're taking shots and all those kind of things. It's got two sort of uh, main sort of functions. One is to record um, shots um, in, in normal short of shooting drills that you would expect to see in, in, in basketball. Um, but you can also switch it to scrimmaging um, and it's able to essentially give you live box score information um, such as assists, uh, turnovers, obviously shots made, shots missed, uh, free throws, the, the, the whole shebang. Um, so at the moment we've got the shot chart for the full squad. So this is showing um, where they've taken the shots from. If they're a green dot, it's a successful shot. If it's a red dot, it's a missed shot. And then you're able to um, go player by player and look where every individual player is taking their shots. Um, and further on from that, we can go break it into a zone map. Um, and again, just looking at their accuracy from different positions around the court. You can look at the same as just a player or for the full academy. Not that you ever want this to happen, but one of the other interesting things is that obviously in some training sessions an, an injury may occur um, and you have to kind of explain it to the physio or the doc how, how something happened. Um, with this technology you'll be able to actually see the video of how the injury occurred and that's actually going to build up over time a repository of information of how potentially we might be able to do um, things better to minimise injuries. You know, technology um, can uh, you know, be really cool and uh, provide you with information, um, but if it's actually automating uh, things that the coaches are actually having to do manually at the moment, if we can kind of give the coaches an extra hour as a result of automating things using technology, that that's worth it in itself.